Step 10. Fine-tune the PID parameters and verify the actual control performance. This video could also be a standalone video to show how can we fine-tune the PID parameters of the PID controller. Based on the previous steps, we already got one set of proper PID parameters. Based on this group of PID parameters and based on the actual control performance as well as the, the process behavior and the response, we will fine-tune the PID parameters. Because sometimes the actual process will have a, the die zone and the PID control will have a saturation problem. So based on those actual case, we will fine tune the PID parameters. As shown in the screen, currently the new side point that is a 48 centigrade and the control performance shows are really good. And the output currently is working around 20%. The current PID parameters gain is a 13. TI that is a 28, a derivative that is a 7. Now we are going to give a new side point. Set from 48 to 45. Uh, we will see because the temperature need to go down, so the output of this uh, cooling system will increase to let this uh, temperature system dropping down. Let's see this uh, dropping process. And let's see if this uh, process has an overshoot. I'm speed up the video because this uh, transition time process take a couple minutes. So we can see the process got an overshoot now. The red curve that is a PID control signal. As we can see to prevent this uh, overshoot the control signal should uh, decrease early. So that let the temperature uh, growing up a little bit early than current one. I'm speeding up the video. So as we can see, when the temperature dropping here, it has an overshoot. That means this TI or this TD could be increased a little bit. We need to decrease the integral in fact and increase the derivative in fact. That means this TI need to be increased and uh, this TD also can be increased. For example, try to 34 and uh, increase the TD. And let's try it again. So now we set to 48 again. And we can also compare those two times because I decreased uh, the integral in fact and increased uh, the derivative in fact. Actually, this overshoot is very small, so it looks better than before.
and as we can see the temperature actually is pretty nice we set the 48 the actual feedback that is 48.01 which means there almost no overshoot here it's pretty nice get the set point very quickly okay let's try the temperature goes down and the dropping down and let's set to 45 again this whole process may take uh, three minutes so I speed up the video three times And we can see the output from here is already dropping down. So this earlier than before. So the overshoot should be less than before. So as we can see, after we decrease the, the integral in fact and increase the derivative in fact so this performance getting better than before so current performance that is around two parameters i will list those parameters on the left of the screen so we can compare for the wrong three as well as the original setting if you recall the initial setting the pid parameters uh, they worked very well uh, when we used a simulated process object but now currently we have a twice uh, overshoot personally i think that's because my fan system is not quite uh, linearized uh, because the circuit board as well as the uh, fan uh, when the fan working around uh, a lower 10 percent or higher uh, 50 percent uh, that fan is not quite uh, linearized so that may cause this uh, overshoot but actual case, a uh, lot of systems, they are not linearized. So that makes sense. So that's why after we used the simulated process, uh, after we shift back to the actual process, uh, we still need to fine tune. But fortunately, we, we tune the PID parameters by using the simulated process object. Also, uh, it can speed up our commissioning time. And after we shift back to our actual process, we can use those uh, PID parameters as an initial parameters and then start based on those parameters to do the fine tuning all right to further decrease this uh, overshoot we can decrease the integral in fact uh, so we can increase the, the ti parameter and the derivative uh, in fact we can increase the derivative in fact that means uh, we can increase that td parameter a little bit All right, let's start the round three. Let's see the performance this time. I speed up uh, three times on this video, so we can still see this uh, whole process, this going up whole process. So this time the overshoot almost disappear, which is uh, really good. And now the system changed to a stable status. Uh, let's change from the 48 to 45 again.
As we can see, the PID output here comparing with the previous one is decreased earlier than before. So that allows this overshoot become uh, less than before. From this uh, over picture, this is three time adjustment on the PID parameters. The overshoot becomes smaller and smaller. That's because uh, we increased the TI and the TD. So that means uh, we decrease the integral in facts and uh, increase the derivative in facts. So that decreased uh, the overshoot. Also, from this uh, three times adjustment, we can see if we have a one initial parameters, we can based on this initial PID parameters, basically do the fine tuning. It quickly got our target parameters. So that means if we have a simulated process object at first to tune the parameter at first, and then once we shift to the actual process, it won't take us a too long time to get the final target parameters. So that means those are 10 steps that facilitated our PID parameters fine tuning and uh, closed the loop process commissioning. All right, that is uh, step 10. Fine tune the PID parameters and uh, verify the actual performance of our process. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.